everyone, welcome back. So this time we're going to be talking about slip and polycrystalline materials. Now polycrystalline materials have many different grains, often in random crystallographic orientations. So that's different than this, which is different than this, which is different than this. So many different grains, all with their different orientations, and that means that the properties of this material are anisotropic, or sorry, isotropic. It doesn't matter on the direction. Now the slip planes vary from grain to grain. Now, about application of stress, the slip in each grain will happen on the most favorable slip system. But the largest resolved shear stress, so they're going to all slip in their own way. And they're all going to slip when the resolved shear stress in that particular grain is more than the critical resolved shear stress. Now, one thing to think about is this. Would that make it easier or harder for it to deform? Easier or harder for it to deform? Well, one thing you can think about is that in general it's going to make it easier for it to deform because there's so many different orientations that one of them is probably going to slip when you apply a stress. It's going to be a lot easier for it to move along that um, reach the critical resolved shear stress because one of these will have the perfect orientation to maximize resolved shear stress. And then that particular grain will begin to slip. And then everything else will begin to slip as well. So you know, it's just one by one. And also you can slip along grain boundaries, which are definitely the weakness here. So that is another way things can slip. Now, during plastic deformation, grains change shape due to the slip. And so when it comes to all these grain structures before and after deformation, well, it's very similar to what's happening to the overall structure, the gross plastic deformation. So if it gets you know, longer and thinner, well, guess what? Your grains are going to get, on average, longer and thinner. Also, because we have made all the grains longer and thinner, there is a somewhat preferred crystallographic direction. This is where most of them are directed. Even if they were angled like this to begin with, now that they're longer and thinner, they're going to be angled like this. So they're still kind of stretching in that direction. And this makes the properties of the material somewhat anisotropic. Okay? Somewhat anisotropic. Remember that single grains properties can be anisotropic. Um, multi grain, sorry, polycrystal materials um, usually are isotropic, but if we change this by working them, they can have anisotropic properties once more. So that's it for this time. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this helps you, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.